So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to translate from Chinese to English on your 1688 app. So remember in the last video, I promised that I was going to show you this specially. So that's basically what this video is about. So I'm going to show you how you can do it on Android and iOS devices. But the thing is that it is way easier to operate all those apps on Android phones. So I would advise you to get an Android phone if you are an iPhone user. If you want to take this business seriously, it is way, way, way convenient to use those apps with an Android phone. But then you can also use it with iOS. It's just that it might be a little bit more strenuous using it on an iOS device. But regardless, let's just proceed and let me show you how you can translate the words on your Android device. And then I'm going to show you what to do for those of you that have iOS device. You can see now that everything here is written in Chinese. Obviously, you can only tell from the images and from the prices. So you can tell that this one right here is 3.8. Why this one here is 9.2. Why this one here is 10. Why this one here is 5.7. That's the only thing you can tell because they are in numbers. And you can also see that this is also a pair of earrings. So that those are the only ways you can know. But that's not enough. You need words. You need to know what they are trying to sell in English. You need to know, you need to be able to read what they are trying to sell so you can know what you want to buy. So now that that is out of the way, what we're going to do now is we are going to download an app on our Android device. Right now, I'm showing you how you can do this on your Android device. So what you are going to do now, you are going to head straight to Play Store. So this is Play Store right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on Play Store here and I'm going to type in this application. So follow me closely high dictionary so this first option right here is the one we are downloading so that's the option we are going to go for we'll just click on it right now and it's going to bring us here so what we want to do now is install so now that we are done downloading the app so what we're going to do now is we are going to move into the app so now let's click on open right here so what we're going to do now is open the app we'll click on open and then the moment you open the app, it will come up like this. And then you are going to notice that there's a particular icon at the edge of your screen right here. You can see what it's showing right now. This um, that says hi. And so what you're going to do now, you're going to minimize the application. Do not close it because when you close it, this stuff at the edge here is going to leave. So do not close it, just minimize it. So now we're going to minimize it and then we're going to head to 1688 app. So now that we are here, what we're going to do is we're going to select a product. Let me just select this product right here. So I'm going to use that product for an example. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hold it down like this. I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to drag it towards the product. So a, a notification is going to pop up saying, hi, dictionary needs an accessibility service to get text anywhere on screen in order to run screen translation from other apps. To provide translate service, hi, dictionary needs accessibility service to read text when using other apps. We respect your privacy and we ensure that we do not collect or store any of your private data. We need your consent to proceed further. So what you're going to do is, that's the reason why I said it is better to get a phone and dedicate that phone to ordering online. So that's basically how it should be. You should um, dedicate a phone ordering online because that's the best. To adjust, you can never be too safe. So it's risky using this app or using the High Dictionary app on a phone that you have other personal information. So you know you can never be too safe. So now I'm going to hit on accept and so I'm, I'm going to just um, turn on the accessibility. So you are going to click on downloaded app and then it's going to bring you here and I'm going to turn this on. So you are going to turn this on and then click on I'm aware of the possible risk and then click on OK. And now you just granted it access. So now when you go, when you head back to the app and you want to, you want to see what is written on this place. What you just need to do is now click on this and drag it here and then leave it for a sec. You drag it and you leave it for a sec. It is going to translate what you have there. So you can see it. Wong only South Korea version of the happiness signal double hertz, female silver, blah, 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 blah. So you can always check. You can check for this one and you see that it just translated it for you. You can check on this one too. It will do the same thing. 
so you check on this one to do the same thing so you can always just pick it up and then check before you click so that's the advantage of this one so that is how to translate with this application now i said i was going to show you how you can also use it for those of you that are using iphone now one thing about this method i'm about to show you is that it's not like it does not work even for android phones but the thing is that when you try to use it on the first page you won't see the entire write-up of the product that you are reading when you use that high um, dictionary you get to see the entire description of a product before you click it right but on this one you don't see the entire description of the product but then this is very straightforward and easy for those of you that are using um iphone or android you can also use this method all you need to do is make sure that you have a chrome browser because this is currently a chrome browser so you open the web on a chrome browser and all you just need to do is head over to this point right here these three lines right here so you click on it so you search for translate right here so you click on translate as well so you just hit on translate and it is going to translate everything that is written so you can see cross-border computer you can't really tell what it is you you see app statement you see dot 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 after the description you see dot 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 after the description and then when you click on it it will go back to chinese right you can see everything is written in chinese so you can always just go back to translate and hit translate and then it is going to translate everything for you i prefer using that application because it makes life easier all i just need to do is just drag it and move around while i try to read something and i get to read everything that i want to read so i i think that method is better but then for those of you that don't want to use the application you can also translate with this method so this is basically how you can get the products you want to buy um you can read everything here the ship the ship the delivery set to delivery specification several colors available and the likes so you can always use chrome browser to also translate so that's basically how to translate on 1688 app so that will be the end of today's video i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and peace out